All right, I'm going to be talking about uh, designing a uh, control system for a voltage system, for a DC generator, uh, trying to control the uh, output voltage. We're going to be doing a proportional controller design. So I'm going to start out with, uh, we've been working on this uh, most of the semester, so I'm going to start out talking a little bit about the background the system, uh, you know, some of the experiments we've run previously to this. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the block diagram and the schematic of the actual system. We're going to dive on into the uh, steady state operating curve of the system, which we'll put in a general uh, constant input saying what the uh, output is, um, how that applies throughout the uh, range. We're going to be doing some step responses um, when the output or input is changed, see how that affects the output. Uh, do a little bit about frequency response when a uh, variable frequency is put into the system, seeing how that affects the output. Uh, and then uh, applying those to Bode diagrams to uh, see if we can figure out some uh, constraints of the system. And then diving into uh, the uh, root locus of the system. Uh, and then I'm going to um, go back into some of the um, newer uh, projects we've been working on with it as far as uh, theory and the results of uh, the newer uh, uh, parts of actually designing the proportional uh, controller. Going to be doing actual uh, theory behind the design and then diving into the uh, application of that design. Uh, and then I'll uh, draw some conclusions about it. But uh, this is the system right here. Uh, basically, this motor right here, highlighted in black, uh, a certain input is applied to that motor uh, from a computer, and that percent input is then applied to the uh, actual DC generator whose uh, output is voltage. So as a certain percentage is applied on this voltage, here's the uh, schematic of it. The uh, motor input is applied to the transfer function and output's going to be voltage, which uh, is applied to the cell in other place. This is the uh, steady state operating curve, as I mentioned earlier. Steady uh, input is applied uh, at different points and the output is uh, given. Here's the output right here in voltage. Here's the input in percent. Uh, we applied it throughout the system. And you got this curve on the bottom. Uh, and we're given a uh, user parameters of between 10 and 70 volts, which uh, on a st uh, standard input was between about 66 and 84%. Uh, um, However, uh, generators have a very unique feature about them that is a little bit different. Uh, it's called hysteresis. Basically, the uh, system has a memory. So if you were to apply an input at, say, 0% zero uh, input and apply, uh, say, 70% uh, input, uh, from 0, you'll get about 12 volts. However, because of the memory of the system, if you were to start at 100% input and then dive down 70 volts, it would follow the second path right here. So if you started at 100% uh, input and then dove down to 70% input, your output would now be about 49 volts. So the uh, memory of the system, that's because the coil uh, stores the energy. So. But uh, that new uh, range would be between 50 and about 80. So, but for simplicity, we uh, broke up the system into the uh, step up and did our ranges between uh, 66 and 84. Uh, first, this is a step response. Basically, the uh, motor input is applied right here. Where it goes through this transfer function right here and comes out as voltage. Uh, and that it has a set input, and that input will be changed, which will uh, fluctuate with the response. So I'll show right here. Uh, the system starts out at about 68 volts, and then uh, the output is dropped down to 65 volts. Or the, sorry, the input is dropped down to 65 volts, which gives us a uh, curve right here to uh, try to be fitted in is a uh, you know, standard step down. However, uh, the complexity of voltage. This is not a standard step down. Um, it's a little bit more complex with the way everything's 
um, just because of the complex nature of the system. Um, but from this, we can uh, calculate some certain parameters about the system. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, we broke it into three different sections within um, our constraints, which was between 10 and 70 volts, uh, and which was an input of between 66 and 84. Um, broke W. And with the uh, step up and step down functions, uh, step up were a little bit higher, or a lot higher in every instance. And step down, the blue is the step down, the red is the step up. Uh, also, with the lower values as far as the gain in the system, uh, slowly decreased as the input got higher. Uh, the dead time decreased by a lot as the input got higher. And uh, time times 10. Kind of just jump around a little bit there. Uh, but the uh, set down is actually road, which is really interesting about the system because step up, decrease. Uh, kind of jump around a little bit for uh, bed time. And the time constant kind of uh, also jump around a little bit. But uh, as far as the block diagrams go, uh, the oscillating input was in, uh, inserted into the generator. That would be a, a sine wave input, just kind of fluctuating around a certain point. And the uh, output would fluctuate as well, and some sort of other parameters about the system to be determined. This is the system right here. We did uh, three verts right here. Uh, the input is the red right here. Now, watch this right there, up and down, around this uh, input on this side, uh, going around 80, 80% uh, input, giving an output of about 65 volts on average, however, just kind of fluctuating. This slide to determine the uh, uh, just other parameters about the system. And they were plotted into a Bode model, uh, as far as uh, Amplitude ratio and phase angle. Uh, but as you can see, it does not follow this uh, normal pattern. Uh, it's just kind of curve. It, this one's low, and these kind of jump up. Uh, typically, with amplitude ratio, you just get a slow uh, decrease within the system. Uh, as you can see right here, it actually increases as you get around uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, 6 and 7. Uh, hertz, just kind of you know, a little bit strange, as well as with the phase angle, kind of doesn't really follow this angle pattern, so it's a little bit unique in that sense. But uh, as far as that goes, some of the uh, uh, parameters we found were the uh, gain, actually, with this system, increased as the uh, input got higher. The uh, dead time 